The next song we'll get into is Police Dog Blues in open D tuning. And Blake's music is full of mysteries, as his life is also. And just as in Chump Man, he only recorded a few songs in the key of D. There's only a couple of songs in his repertoire in the key of in open D tuning. And it's a real curiosity that, he, you know, this song is so great and it's been covered by a lot of people that it's just kind of wonder, it's a wonder why he never played more tunes in this particular tuning. And let's get into the tuning and then I'll play the song for you. And it's open D. And we're coming from Chump Man. We're already in drop D tuning. And what we're doing here is we're taking the third string and dropping it down a half step to F sharp. Then the B string, dropping it down to A, one step. Then the high E string, down to D. So what you end up with is D, A, D, F sharp. A, and then D. So this is Police Dog Blues. Okay, let's get into police dog blues. We're already in open D tuning. And aside from, we'll get into Blake's pick in a second, but just in terms of the left hand positions, basically the D chord, it's a three chord blues, and the D chord positions, he's playing around this riff, which is on the second and third fret. And your D seventh is just, sometimes I'll hit that as your D seventh. And the G, which is the third and fifth string on the first and third fret, and then it'll play off that position with around that position. Then is A, and the standard A seventh in this tuning is the first and fourth string on the second fret, and the uh, third string first fret. And sometimes he'll play off that, and then back to the D. Now, what I did is I, I wrote out uh, five different variations, and we'll split screen them all to see. But basically, the pick in each one is the same. And when we kind of shoot down to the right hand, what's happening is in typical Blake fashion, instead of a steady bass, it's that bass treble idea where the bass might jumps from string to string against the melody. So, for instance, while he's singing the verse, that kind of bounce to it, similar to Chump Man Blues, where he's jumping from string to string instead of a that kind of idea. All my life I've been a traveling man. You could see on a phrase like that, where it'll start out in the D, as he's vamping, to walk into the G chord with that double thumb idea. 
here, he'll bring down his first finger to the open D string with the phrase. So you got. You see how he jumps off from the sixth. will stop there. So if you isolated the bass line, it might sound something like. It's that kind of idea where it's constantly shooting different, uh, different rhythms against the melody line. So let's get into the first split screen, which is the basic verse that he'll sing on. And just, I'll just go over the positions before we do that, just real briefly. Back to the G. All my life I've been a traveling man Traveling around, doing the best that I can There's a lot of intricacies going on with the left hand and, of course, the right hand. So let's get into the first split screen, and that'll illustrate kind of the basic pick, and then we'll take each verse as it comes in terms of the variations. In the first variation, basically the only difference is this the D part in the first part of the verse. And how he plays that is on the first string 7th fret and the second string 8th fret, where he bends the notes against a steady bass, then it hits the harmonic, and then walks into the G. Walks down. And there it's nice, the bass riff, one bass, now the A part bouncing off the 6th string, 3rd fret, and if you watch the thumb in the right hand on that particular part, he bounces off the strings. Sort of, there's your bass line on that. Back to the G. So obviously you see the same riffs throughout the tune, just some of the variations are slightly different, but it's still the same basic pick and all these different variations between the bass and the melody line. So let's go to the split screen and that'll lay out that one pretty, pretty clearly. In the second variation, he starts out the D with the harmonics on the 12th fret.
walks into the G. Same as the other verse. Now for the A part, he walks up on the third and fourth string. And as he's walking, he hits that high string as sort of a drone. I think the split screen should show that nice and clearly. Let's go to the split screen for that particular variation. For the next break, he starts out on the third and fourth string walking up. And I'm playing that in my right hand with the thumb and the finger. And I'm kind of just stopping the strings. And then walks into a G. A little variation instead of... It's more of a... It's great how the bass opens up with that brush. And then back to the G, to the A, that standard riff that he uses. You can hear that bounce in his playing. And for the ending, instead of going to the A chord, does this really pretty little cadence. And then walks down, first string, to an E chord, which is on the third and sixth string, second fret. And then A chord, A seventh, which is third string, first fret, and the fifth string open, and the first string open. And what really gives it its sound is to be really clear and articulate to play just those notes. And then back to the D from the top. So when I play that cadence at the end, sometimes I'll lead with the bass. Always trying to separate the melody and the bass back and forth. And when he plays that, he actually plays it twice in the tune. One time it's... Second time. And again, it's all these little subtle variations of the pick that's, that's great. And, and it's really apparent in this tune especially because you can really hear the notes ring out because of the open tuning. So let's go to the split screen and then we'll move on from there. In the last variation, he uses a little bass roll that's happening. It's on the fourth and sixth string, second fret, open rather, the second walks out. Now I'm playing it in my right hand with my thumb and my fingers. But it wouldn't surprise me if he did. So it's your call as to which way you want to do it. And then back to the G. Same as before. Now the 
regular A bouncing off as in the first variation. Got that great halftime bass feel in this variation. So let's go to the split screen on this one and that'll lay it out and then I think the way to approach this tune is to try to get the basic verse, the basic pick, and then just tear off each, each variation as you come to it and just try to be aware, especially of, that, of the two lines. And uh, again, this is a wonderful tune to work out the, the Blake pick on because it's not as cumbersome as playing in some of the other positions because you have the open strings. So good luck with Police Dog Blues and then we'll, we'll move on. But first we'll go to the split screen of this last variation. <laughs> 